Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about critical authorizations. Here right now, we are in the data browser, so in the transaction code SE16N, and I have opened up the table TOBJ and displayed some, in my opinion, critical authorization objects. So basically, yeah, you can make a screenshot because in my opinion those are the most important critical authorizations and by default a critical authorization uh, is an authorization in the SAP system that poses a risk from a data protection and data security perspective and critical authorization should not be granted or should only be granted to a limited extent as this could lead to unauthorized data transfer in the worst case this could result in the unauthorized transfer of critical company data to external parties and here right now as mentioned we have a list of the most important critical authorizations and how you can analyze these critical authorizations so to check if there um, yeah they, they these kind of auth uh, authorizations exist in the system or what kind of sap users have these authorizations there you can open up the transaction suim so the user information system and then on the user and then with critical authorizations you open up a report to yeah to check users or roles with combinations of critical authorizations uh, on the other way around you can also open up the sa38 so the other program execution or the se38 and then you can also type in this report name so yeah uh, then with the f8 key you end up exactly in the same screen what do you prefer those two reports uh, allow you to analyze critical authorizations and within this button there you can set up variants for critical authorizations so we click on this and then we have already one sap proposal um, in according to this report and if we check this there are different authorizations ids are yeah maintained and when we look at one so for example they are here in the critical authorizations then we see that every authorization id is basically linked to a color so for example there you have the possible eight possibilities so from zero to seven um yeah what you prefer normally um yeah if you have uh, for example yeah some some uh, yeah blue or yellow then that's just a warning but if you have a red for example then you should be really uh, careful about these authorizations because they exist in the output and um, we will see the output in a couple of seconds uh, but yeah basically if we select one so for example this and then look into the authorization data then now we can see that uh, basically this authorization id checks for this object with this uh, yeah field name uh, with these kind of activities and if you want to because that's just a proposal you can define uh, own variants on your uh, your personal or your company specific or branch uh, market specific uh, needs uh, but basically here you have a proposal and if we go one step back and select for critical authorization and then we select this existing variant then you have the ability to if we now execute it then you search for every uh, sap user in the system and i would like to limit this just for demo purposes to my sap user to see the outcome then when you execute this then here right now you can see the outcome so basically here you can see as mentioned what kind of yeah ids are shown uh, red so basically this user uh, has the corresponding authorization um, and every as defined red line you should really be uh, uh, careful about these authorizations the yellow yeah this that's uh, a warning with quotation mark and if we would like to, to 
you have to dive into this, then you can click on roles to get the list of uh, this, this uh, of, the, of the roles. And here right now I have currently just two roles for this SAP user. Um, but what is really critical, and we will see this if I click on profiles, because now we can see that this SAP user has the SAP profile, SAP underscore all. And that's why all the red lines occur. Uh, yeah, so basically that's a nice way how you can analyze really easily and quickly if there are some critical authorizations within the SAP system and uh, yeah, what kind, uh, who has these critical authorizations and then of course uh, based on these results you can uh, get rid of these critical authorizations so you uh, remove uh, them out of the roles or you remove the profiles uh, what you like to and yeah uh, that's basically all if you like this video please hit the like button if you have any questions left then put them in the comment sections and please do not forget to subscribe this youtube channel thank you so much and then see you in the next video.